This video is a demonstration of a sample application written using Alpha Software's Alpha Anywhere system to do data acquisition, in this case, of a cement mixing truck. Uh, this is what a cement mixing truck looks like. It has two parts to it. It has like a cab, the, the rest of the truck on the bottom, and in the back there is the mixer, and the mixer has a drum uh, and other parts. In this case, you can see the, the water tank, um, and you can see the, um, uh, the uh, meter for the water tank on the side. There's the chute and other parts in the back. Okay, so let's look at the application. The application has login help we can get. Um, in this case, I'm going to do a demo login. I'm not going to actually log into a real database. And here we see um, two forms that have already been filled out for doing inspection of, um, a, um, of a truck, which is what you would do in the morning before you take the cement truck out. In this case, I'll tap the New button, and uh, if I type in the truck ID, here I have some help will tell me, enter the truck ID, you can either use the keyboard or you can scan it. Um, and there'll be a QR code on the side of the truck. So in this case, I'm going to do a scan. And let's find some a QR code. There we go. And it says the following values were set. Here's the truck ID, ends with an A, the truck make is Mac, and the weight, etc. And let's save that information away. And now we have three pages of the form. Um, there's the truck ID and the date of inspection and who's inspecting it, which was put in automatically. And then the specifications that came from the scan. Here we see the truck chassis, the mixer, drum, the data that would be on the plate on the drum, and other information. Um, but of course, you can always go in and um, customize these if you need to, if they were wrong or typing, typing in for the first time. But the main thing is the checklist. And as you can see here, there's lots of just-in-time help information. Um, uh, this is the checklist for the truck items, the truck body, and the mixer items, the drum, the different parts. Um, so let's tap on Operations Manual and check that the Operations Manual for this model is in the cab. Okay, we tap on Pass and go to Next. And then we check that the logbook is present, tap on Pass, tap on Next. The idea here is that you're taking your time and actually checking that these things exist. Oh, the maintenance log, is it not present? Well, that's a fail. If we go up, and next one, road registration, yeah. If we go up here, you can see that the color indicates whether you have passed or failed. Let's, uh, these are all similar, but we'll go down to the mixer items, and here's the drum counter. Is the, uh, the counter that counts how many times it's going around? Uh, is it working in good location? Yeah. Oh, the drum speed test. In this case, we got to check that the drum speed corresponds to the setting by doing a timing test. Here we're looking at the longer help. So you set the drum speed control to 10 RPM. Make it go around 10 times. And then see where you can see it. Let me show you this on the picture. Um, if you look here, here's the drum which will be going around. And we want to see if we set it to 10 RPM. Is it actually going that? So you look for some mark on the side. Um, and you look for a place on the um, on the body of the of the truck, and basically you press the start button when it passes it once, and then when it comes around again, you tap it again, and and the application automatically counts the amount of time, determines the time, and then converts that to RPM and sees whether it's uh, within range. So let's try that. So we'll start the timer test. You can see the RPM number is going up there, and there we are up. Oh, it's going 13 RPM. It failed, which is 130% of the target, which is out of the allowed range. Well, that's, I wasn't really paying careful attention. Um, let's try it again. This time, now notice it's, it has a very big button. That's so that I don't have to actually look at my phone. I can hit it pretty well, um, just holding it while looking carefully as the drum passes by. Let's start it. Here it goes. And it's going around and around, slowly going around. And it's going to come all the way back. Yes. Ah, it passed. It was 9 RPM, which is 90% of the target 10, so that's allowed. So here we see where we have something very specific, a customized editor 
for the particular application. And this was built pretty quickly using just a few lines of JavaScript to add a custom editor to it. And if we go back here, we can see uh, the, um, the checklist. If it was filled out, if we go to the forms, we see that the first two have been synced. They're back in the, uh, the database back um, on the server, but the last one is unsynced. And if we touch the sync button at the top, we see that that's the one that's listed for sync, and if we hit the sync all button, that would send that data back to the server. So that ends this demonstration of a simple, simple, a simple sample application uh, that uh, is written using Alpha Anywhere um, and was customized for a particular use um, as opposed to just using some standard thing um, that is not as uh, tuned. Thank you very much.